So one of the things that makes Naughty Dog special is our insane attention to detail. And that comes from just extreme amount of research. So whether it's researching a theme, let's say this, this idea of retribution or justice, like we would read a ton of books and look at movies and even watch like interviews and news programs about stuff that's going on in the world and then discuss it among ourselves, like, what's happening here? What can we draw from this? How can we base these fictional characters on reality to make them feel more authentic? Our hope with this game is to create the most authentic characters that you've seen in a game, not just Ellie, not just Joel, but that every character you see is dimensional. Obviously, in telling a character-driven story, you have to create characters. And it starts with a story concept that then can develop into level ideas and more specific narrative beats. Once we kind of have a good understanding of the narrative that we're after, we could start writing scripts. And that's really the first time the characters come to life and they're speaking, even though it's just words on the page. Now they're becoming more specific. And the next step after that is to either bring in the existing cast from the first game, such as Ashley Johnson, who played Ellie, and Troy Baker, who played Joel, or casting new characters. And they're interpreting the material and bringing their knowledge of these characters and their take on these characters to life. I think authenticity from every department has been kind of a, a goal or a focus whether or not that's in the animations and how we're mocapping or in the effects and how we're simulating you know, the different elements to get the effect look that we want in game. We wanted it to be as realistic as possible, as believable as possible, so that as you're playing, you can hopefully get fully invested in it and fully immersed. And we didn't want to have a character moment where it's unbelievable, both from a narrative and visual standpoint. Some other advances that we've had is like now we can like make veins pop on their forehead if like they're really angry or likewise there's we could redden their skin. Could be based on emotion or could be based on what's happening to them physically. How red their eyes can get is controllable. How tears flow off their eyes and their face is all new um, tech that we've developed for this game. Oh, fuck. Hey, we got another trespasser, a girl. Did you see her? Additionally, we have this human nuance to our human enemies uh, that makes the situations that you're in so much more terrifying and emotionally affecting than they would be otherwise, because at almost every turn, we've gone as far as we possibly can go to make our human enemies feel as human as possible. I got something. Oh, shit. Infected. Let's get in there. You can hear the enemies calling out, looking for you, and giving you slight little uh, gameplay hints as to what they're gonna do, and so you can try to plan around it. What is it? Someone out! We got something. I'll go see what's up. So whether that's the nuance of their awareness system of like what they should know about and when, how they convey knowledge to their friends, to the kind of emotional content of the game. So when they refer to each other by name, when they scream in anguish, when they see their friend die. <laughs> When they they scream in anger as they're like kind of trying to hunt you down or, or attack you, they feel real, and it makes the situation that you're in feel real in a way that you haven't seen before and, and you might not be ready for. There was a ton of research that was done into foliage and different kind of foliage that exists in different parts of the country to make those areas feel authentic. Studying local architecture of wherever we are and making sure that feels authentic. We took three trips up to Seattle. We actually got photo scanned out of like natural elements in the forests and went through and walked the path of Ellie through Seattle to actually get as much reference that we could. And that was anything from going, you know, inside buildings and taking pictures of signs on the wall to various bus stops and awnings around the, the world. Like we're trying to find those kind of iconic details and bring them into the environment that once we get it into the final game, it's like 
it all comes together to hopefully make something as believable as we can. Hopefully with all these things combined, it, it gives you the feeling that you're playing a Naughty Dog game. This is what we go for. I feel like these are all real people. I feel like this is a real place. I feel like this was a real situation that I was in and then I handled it in a way that makes sense if this was real life. Hey, it's Lisa here with a movie extras fact. Now, while Independence Day's visual effects are littered with CGI, one of its more compelling scenes is a scene in which the aliens set fire to New York. Unlike the rest of the visual effects in the movie that fire was real, the production team built a model city on a soundstage, installed pyrotechnics underneath, and flipped the city sideways while they lit it on fire. Hmm. Now, click here below to subscribe, and remember to tap the bell to always receive our videos in your feed.